Hi, one of a great and powerful tool in Bootstrap is Grid System. It's allow you to align the contents in your page in a responsive way. So let me get started and see how does it work. Grid System uses a series of containers, rows, and columns to lay out and align contents. It's built with Flexbox, so it's fully responsive. So let me see how we can use it. So we have here three divisions. I want to align them in the same line or horizontally. So I can use margin and spacing uh, properties using CSS, but here comes grid system to do this job in a simple way. Let me see. So we have to wrap all the divisions with a division uh, which has a class equal to row. And then we have to specify the number of columns for each division. So in grid system, uh, the line consists of 12 columns. So if we want to align them uh, in the same line, so we have to give each one of them four columns. So here, let me give it a class and equal to col, which short for columns. And then the number of columns. The same thing for the others. What do you see? So they aligned in the same line. And it's fully responsive, as you see now. But we give each one of them a background color. Now let me give this one secondary. And here. Nice. And also let me align the text in the center. So text center. And the same thing for the others. Now would we make a color for the text, we could make it light. Nice. So as you see here, each division has four columns. So if we remove here the number of columns for each one, Let we see. So each one will take four columns by default. It will divide it equally. But if we specified here four columns, no, let me make it five columns. So the rest will be divided equally for the other two divisions, as you see here. So the first one take five columns, so the rest is seven. So each one will take three and a half. And the same thing if I specified here uh, four columns, so the rest will be three columns. What do you see? So the first one has five columns, then four, and the last one, three columns. Now let me see how we can specify how it look like when the screen is small or medium or large. So as you see here, they are in the same line for small screen or big screen or medium screen. So what if I want to make it display vertically for just small screens? So here I have to specify or add SM which short for uh, small and here the same thing and also for the last one. So this means that all of them will display vertically just for a small screen but for medium and large the first division will has five columns, uh, the second one will has uh, four columns and the last one will has the rest. So let me see. So because it's small screen now, so they are displayed vertically, but for medium and large, it will return back to normal. If we change here, small to be medium. Uh, 
the same thing and the same thing for medium screen but when it start to be a large screen they will display in the same line also we can make a combination so for example uh, for a small screen i want to display them in the same line but for medium screen and large screen i want to display them vertically like now how we can do this so here for the first one let will make it five and here four and here let we give it three this means for small screen i want the first division to has five columns the second one four and the last one three but otherwise small screen for medium and large screen so column and small i want it to be 12 so it will take an entire line it will display vertically let me try so here for small screen display in the same line but for medium and large they will display vertically what if I want to change the align for these divisions for example in the center or bottom or in the top but it's by default in the top what if I want to make it in the center before we see how we can do this here let me add a container div And here, let's we give it a class first. So we can add here a height for uh, this division. So we able to display it in the top or the center or the bottom. So that first, and just let we add a height and background color. And then a background color. light gray it's okay we can see it now no problems uh, let me get rid of this so to display those divisions in the center simply and without any problems align items center what we see nice so this is the row division which has a background color light gray and then the three divisions so we display it now in the center of the row division we can make it end so that's how you can align the whole grid also we can align the columns itself so for example, I want to display the first division in the top and then the second one in the center and the last one in the bottom. So let me uh, remove this. And for the first one, let me add another class, align self start. And here it will be align self center and the last one end. Nice. So it will be like this the first one in the top, then center, and the last one in the bar. Also, we can align it horizontally in the left or in the center or in the right. It's by default in the left. Uh, like the first division so let me create another uh, grid and see how to change uh, the background uh, 
and here let we make it fluid so it will take the whole page the whole width for the page like this and then here let we add a class justify content now let we make it in the center but if we here reload we can't see any difference because here we have to change uh, the number of columns so for example of this one a three and this one two and also the last one that we see so it will be in the center as you see we can make it in the right so it will be in like this okay now what if i want to make a column break if i want to uh, force the last division to display in another column let we get rid of justify uh, end and make it like usual and here we get four so as you see here uh, they display it in the same line so what if i want to display the last division below so this trick called column break so we will add another division and give it a class and specify a width so it will be so it will take the rest from the first one and the second one what we see nice also we can reorder them so we can replace the first one with the last one so we have here uh, four divisions so i want the first one to has an order four the last one and then the second one has an order like it is uh, order two and here three and the last one as an order one so it will be the first one what we see so here the last one if we reload it will be the first one but if i didn't order for example the first one it will remove the order so here is the second division which is the green one but we see what will happen it will be the first one because we didn't give it an order so it will be the first one so note that if we didn't order a division it will be the first one that we get rid of uh, the order now what if i want to make a space between the first division and the second division so simply i will add here a class called offset and then the number of columns it will make a space between the first division and the second division uh, two columns let we see so, but what if i want this space just for medium screen and large screen but for small screen uh, it will be like before so here what we add is small so for small screen they will be uh, beside each other there is no difference but for large screen and also medium screen there will be uh, two columns difference also you can make the space using margin so simply here we can make margin left two nice so that's everything about grid we learned how to create a grid in the same line in different lines how we can specify how it look like uh, when the screen is large or medium or small how we can order them so it will be useful for you so i hope everything is clear and you understand it well and of course if you have any problem or something you don't understand don't hesitate to ask me so good luck and see you next time